solar power is amazing and pretty much unlimited, unless there's, you know, clouds. One problem for homeowners that are fans of sun power has been that solar panels don't really have, how do you say it, curb appeal. Well, now solar collectors can commingle, built to blend in with your roof's shingles. Here's Albert Lawrence to explain. We've been harnessing the sun's power since the 7th century BC, when people lit fires using magnifying glasses. But the silicon-based solar panels you see on roofs today weren't developed until the mid 20th century. The challenges with solar power have been perceived costs and aesthetics. But two solar pros from GAF Energy, Martin De Bono and Gabriella Bonilla, guided a team of engineers to create the Timberline Solar Shingle, which is as thin and durable as a standard roof shingle. I met up with them at GAF's headquarters in San Jose, California. What is it about the way that you're utilizing solar power and harnessing it here that's different? What's different is that we've created a nailable solar shingle. When you say nailable, what do you mean? So a regular shingle goes on the house with a nail gun. Our solar shingles go on the house with a nail gun. It's really remarkable. They go on just as fast as a regular roof. It's able to be installed a lot more easily, a lot more efficiently than alternate options. 100%. So what are some of those alternate options? So the most common one called rack mounted solar. This is what you see all over the place. They look like flat panel TVs. They're about three feet by two feet. And you have to drill those into the rafters of your roof. And it's like half inch holes using lag bolts. And they also look ugly because they're sitting above the roof line and they collect debris, vermins. What started this company on the journey to try to figure out how to come up with a fresh way to do it? You know, the sun delivers enough energy in one minute as all the world's power plants do in one year. If you can put solar on a roof, you can help solve some of society's bigger problems. And so that requires innovation in the materials that we use and electronic circuitry that we embed inside the shingle. To get the lowdown on that, I met with GAF's head of research and development, Gabriela Bonilla. One of the things that you are noticing is that it's really light. I don't know if you can kind of, you know, it's about 10 Look pounds. At that. We spend a lot of time actually trying to come up with this particular, you know, shape and length. You see, it's really, really thin. It doesn't really have any metal, so it doesn't require any grounding. And then you see this kind of line. This is their space. You know, it's very much like a shingle. They are allowed to nail within this area. And then we would just stack these on You each would other. just stack this top and bottom, left to right. And then the roofer will integrate them. And then the electrician will do the final connection to the grid. And it will keep your house safe, waterproof. It's a roof. Gabriella let me inspect the shingles installed on a roof with my safety her top priority. So what you're saying is, this is literally a solar roof? Yes! That's crazy! 